For today's video about crop health maps, I'm going to walk through a few examples of evaluating how things look mid-season. We will cover what crop health maps are, the steps involved to capture and view maps, and how to use crop health maps to improve your outcomes. First, let's talk about what crop health maps are and why we use them. Simply put, crop health maps provide the status of a field. They show both where healthy plant mass is and where plants may be stressed from disease, limited nitrogen, pests, or other factors. To create a crop health map, sensors on drones and satellites capture light reflected off of plants. Generally, the more a plant reflects light, the more plant mass and better crop health it has. The maps generated from this imagery will typically visualize green as health and red as stress. There are different types of crop health maps that utilize different wavelengths of light and have different strengths for identifying stress. NDVI is useful for the beginning and middle of the season, but it can struggle to see through the top layers of your crops later in the season. NDRE is useful once your crops have developed a dense canopy. NDRE is also a good option for permanent crops, which have a dense canopy year round. VARI does not require a crop health specific camera, and it's useful for filtering out the effects of the atmosphere in your imagery which can change from day to day. Depending on the time of year and imagery you have access to, you may want to look at one type of crop health map over another. The first step in crop health management is monitoring your fields. Remote monitoring with notifications and satellite images can direct your time and resources to the fields that need it the most. Satellite maps are available on Field Agent Web and Mobile in each field's map layer section, letting you stay in touch from wherever you are. Note that layers with lower sun percent may be blocked by clouds. Options include NDVI and NDRE for crop health and RGB for real color. Let's check in on our field to see what the most recent satellite layers show. We can see a yellow area of lower value in the middle of the field, but we don't know what's causing it yet. Comparing satellite layers over multiple days can help to identify trends and potentially reveal the source of stress. We can now see that this region became quickly stressed. By checking our notifications for the field, we know that it occurred right after an excessive wind notification. We can conclude that the region was likely impacted by green snap. Next, we can create a zone to estimate the affected acreage. We can easily share these satellite layers with a grower to communicate our insights. Once you have the map layer you want to share, click the Create Report button and add notes. Due to the low resolution of satellite imagery, you may identify a field or area that needs a more detailed look to determine the cause and extent of the stress. In these cases, it's time to put boots on the ground or a drone in the sky. Any Centera or DJI sensor can be used to create a crop health map. The lenses your sensor has determines what wavelengths of light it captures and what type of crop health map it can create. Some sensors, such as the Double 4K Multispectral, can capture multiple types of map in one flight. Other sensors, such as the Single and DVI, are only able to capture one specific type of map. When capturing crop health maps with Field Agent on iOS, choose the Late Season Scout or Mapping preset for best results. The Scouting preset can be used to create a quick tile, while the Mapping preset can create an ortho mosaic. Once you capture images, you can order processing to create a crop health map. Images can also be locally stitched at the field edge with Field Agent Desktop. Let's look at another example that shows how we can respond to crop stress with a treatment. Starting with satellite imagery on Field Agent Web, we have both NDVI and NDRE layers for this field. We can see that the NDVI map is all green. This is because the canopy cover has closed and we are unable to see through the top layers and analyze the plants. We can verify this by checking the RGB layer to see what the field looks like. When we select the NDRE layer, we can now see the stressed areas of the field. To create a treatment, we need to capture drone imagery and create a crop health map. Once you've ordered processing on your images or locally stitched them on Field Agent Desktop, we can create management zones in a prescription plan. Management zones will generally match the colors on your map, with regions of different health status being sorted into different zones. 
change the number of bins and the range of values to create the management zones you want. You can also alter the zone detail and gap adjustment to further adjust your zones. If we want to create a management zone for just the stressed area of the field, we can lower our bins to 1 and narrow the range to isolate the stressed area. When you're done adjusting your zones, click Create Management Zones. Then click Create Prescription Plan. We can enter a specific treatment for each zone of the field. Once you export it, you can upload it to a sprayer while you're still at the edge of the field. After you've acted with an input decision, crop health maps help to validate your choices. These include seed hybrids, seed treatments, irrigation practices, and spray applications. Plan out which fields or inputs you want to compare, collect the necessary data, and measure the differences in season for decisions now and in the future. If you're evaluating different seed hybrids, map comparisons are a great way to validate their performance. Instead of just harvest data, you now have information about how they react to inputs throughout the season. This can help to correct your inputs mid-season or inform your decisions for next season. Sharing multiple maps will help highlight trends and show the value of your input choices. To create a multi-map report on Field Agent Desktop, select the Detailed Field Report option and choose each map you want to add. Crop health management can be accomplished using one or all of Sentara's Field Agent applications. Many features can be accessed on multiple apps. Choose what's most convenient for you and your workflow. Field Agent Web is best for satellite monitoring, ordering processing, and sharing your insights with your grower. Field Agent Mobile is best for capturing images and ground scouting. Field Agent Desktop is best for creating maps and prescription plans while you're still at the edge of the field. For some important information on these features and others highlighted in this video, see the support site on Centera.com or check out other videos on our YouTube channel.